We are back with some more Giants franchise, and this is the last episode of our little test run here. I'm going to try to make this video as, as quick as I can. Not really going to go into depth with free agency and the draft and stuff, just because, you know, this is a test run. So, we're going to just kind of see what we can get and all that. Ogletree did get that. We did get some awards for our players, so it'd be, it's going to be good to see how much points and stuff we're going to be able to get. So for on the yearly awards, we did get, um, we got, where is it? It is best defensive, or no, best linebacker, we had Alec Ogletree. Best DB, we had Jabril. And best kicker, we had um, our kicker. And then I think that was it, right? Yeah, I don't think we had another one. We did have offensive rookie, rookie of the year, Daniel Jones, one behind Kyler Murray, which is unfortunate. Defensive player of the year, Alec Ogletree won that too. So Alec should have like a bazillion points, you would assume, for winning all those awards. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he has nothing. So maybe I have to advance to get them or something? I don't know. Um, but for you, I didn't mean to do that. But for you guys who are wondering when the online league actually starts, the league will start once the real life week one rosters drop. So that is the beginning of September sometime. I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded. I'm kind of recording in advance because I'm leaving over Labor Day, but I'm assuming this is probably like during the weekend of the last week in real life football week four when like Sunday, Saturday and Sunday or whatever when they play. It's probably going to be one of those days that I'm going to drop this and then you'll have to probably maybe wait like three days max till we get the first episode, something like that, of the online league. I mean, we'll just have to, I'll have to get with my opponent who I'm playing and schedule a time and all that. Um, if you guys did not remember, I'm live streaming. It was every home game, but we switched it to every away game. So the week one game, I'm on the road against Dallas. So I am going to be streaming that. So make sure you follow my, my stream or my Twitch channel if you want to watch it live. If you don't and you just want to watch it, you know, um, when we uh, upload it to YouTube, you can go ahead and do that as well. Um, either way, if you want to watch it on my YouTube, it's just Daquan underscore Kush. It's spelled the exact same way my um, YouTube channel is. Just the underscore between them instead of a space. I've already looked at those awards. Those don't matter. Do I get a bunch of points for everyone? He gets two points? You're telling me the homie goes off, has an insane season, wins all these rewards, and he gets two points? That's crazy, dude, but he did get up to a 76, which is kind of nice, if you really think about it. <clears throat> he has star development? Jeez, some of my players have star, and I have no clue how. I never even knew that. One thing that's, that's going to be a lot different in the online league to now is the sliders. The sliders are so much different than, than um, the sliders that I have currently, so players like Lorenzo Carter, who dominated might not do so well on those sliders when we get into the online league or players that did bad like Slayton a wide receiver might be good or maybe I, all that stuff but I do think I want to give Slayton another try in the online league I mean he's young it would help out if we can get him to develop it wouldn't we wouldn't have to waste time on um, trying to get another wide receiver in the draft or stuff like that quarterbacks I mean I I doubt we're I don't know if Drew's gonna be there I doubt whoever is using the Saints in the online league is gonna want to resign a 41 year old I mean maybe Running backs we don't need, quarterbacks we probably don't need. There are some okay receivers, I guess. I mean, I don't really want to sign like a, a, a older guy. I'd rather get like, oh my god, I got the hiccups, dude. Now is not the time, but we don't really want to sell or sell. Sign an older guy. The way signings I think are going to work is that right now they're working on a system where it's like a silent bid auction. So instead of like, say... Say Nelson Ag. I don't know 100% if this is how it is, but I'm just going to give you a rough little, you know, little explanation here. But there's going to be a system to where, say, if I'm bidding on Nelson Aguilar and like two other teams are the Texans and the Titans, we'll just say that just because they're on the top bids right now. So, say if it's, it's between me, the Texans, and the Titans, we all put our bids in. Say I'm second on the board with the top bid and the Texans are higher than me, they paid more maybe um, total money, but maybe I gave. Now send it more bonus. Maybe that will sway to me getting the player to sign. So it's going to be a lot different. There's going to be different scenarios like that. So it's not always going to be whoever pays top dollar, whoever pays the most gets him. There'll be scenarios like that where maybe I add an extra year. Maybe the homie likes that I added an extra year. So he's going to go here. Things like that. Um, or scheme fits, all that. So all that stuff's going to play a factor. So it's not just going to be the top bid getting players. 
Um, but there's not many, I mean, there's some of these guys might get re-signed. There might be some people not only that got re-signed in my franchise that they decide to let walk. So obviously, you know, this these people couldn't be here. This is just all rough. But for now, don't see myself getting any of those. Really don't see myself getting another tight end. I mean, we already got a, a lot of tight end talent. I mean, maybe a blocker if there's like a blocking tight end way down here. Like maybe this guy or something. But... I mean, I don't really see myself getting a tight end at all. Left tackle is a big position, and as you can see, there's no left tackles whatsoever we want here. Um, I, I'm trying to remember. I know we have a good right guard, and I think it's our left guard that's decent as well. Center, okay, so there's this is a decent center here. Centers are looking pretty rough too besides this guy. And then we gotta go to right tackle spot, which there's this guy, but he's old, don't really want him. So it's looking like we might have to draft Jermaine Fetty. It's looking like we might have to draft lineman too. I mean, we'll see, you know, it could be different. Defensive line, we don't really need, we could skip that. Outside linebackers, I would love to have X-Man and Lorenzo both be my starters, but I just, like I said, I don't know. I mean, you never know how they're going to play. Lorenzo, for me, was a beast. He had like 19 sacks, I think, he had on the season. So that's insane. I mean, that is what you want right there. But you never know. Middle linebackers, I think I'm definitely going to draft one. Ryan Shazier, dude. That poor guy, dude. Miles Jack. So there's some decent middle linebackers here that maybe can make a move on. Free safety, not really. Kicker, we don't need. I'm going to re-sign him once we get into the online league. Uh, punter, we probably don't need either. But we'll, we'll skip ahead get to the draft <clears throat> I mainly want to do the draft just because I want to practice and see if people I've scouted were good or not people on my board were good so that way you know we get a draft under our belt ready for the online league when the online league draft comes around I think the best thing for our team to do is just draft the best talent on our on our board I think that's just the best way we can do it instead of saying like we need a quarterback I'm picking a quarterback no matter what I think just that's the best way to just you know, pick someone that's the highest on our board here. Let's go to our draft board. Let's go. We've got any receivers. Second round, we'll skip those. Who's our top guy? We got a right tackle. Who's projected in the first round, huh? Interesting. Interesting. We got uh, middle linebackers, maybe? Oh, no. Anyone else I got in the first round? Is that the only guy? It's the only first round caliber player, huh? I got a bunch of later guys that look kind of nice. Oh, this guy's a first round talent. Okay. I got a left tackle that's first round, but he's projected. I'm looking at the prediction. I gotta look at the, the stuff on the left here. Like, look, this guy can get the fifth round, but he's one. But obviously, when I have a bunch of other people drafting with me, it's gonna be a lot, a lot harder. Um. But let's go pick this guy. He's projected in the first. He's in the first. Let's pick what we got. We got, um, oh, I haven't picked him yet. What am I talking about? 76 overall. He's ranked four in true value. Okay, so that is a screamer right there. His dev is normal, which is, you know, not what you like to see. But, it's, but I mean, this we can work with. We can definitely work with that. That would be a, that would be a great pick in the online league right there. Get to our next pick. So far, we're one for one. Let's see if we can go be successful with all of our picks here. Next pick. Um, let's go to my board. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just ate dinner, so my throat's a little jank right now. This guy was projected... Ooh, voice crack. This guy was projected in the third. Hmm. This guy's... St I mean, I, I want to get him late. This guy want to get late, too. Anyone in the first round... Or this guy's second round talent. Another right. All these right tackles, dude. Jeez, shitload of right tackles. I got a quarterback that's projected in the first. Let's just draft a quarterback. Why not? I mean, we can see. We can compare. I mean, let's just take a the look. See here. Okay, so he's got a he's got a screamer of a development trait. I mean, that stuff looks okay. I mean, look at that. I mean, if we just compare here, I mean. Who knows what's gonna happen on the league? Maybe Daniel Jones is a god. Just I mean, I I I want to keep Daniel Jones. I really don't want to have to draft a quarterback. But I mean, this is what we can get. I mean, this is this is dude. This is nice. 86 speed, 82 acceleration, too. 87 agility. I mean, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. He has 73 juke move too, man. He's out here juking people. 
I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I don't know. We'll just have to we'll just have to play out that season and just see kind of how it goes. Let's get to our next pick here. Next pick here. I won't. I guess I'll count that as two for two. I mean, we got a hidden development thing, so that's always good. Look at my board. I want to draft that wide receiver. I'm just gonna draft him now. Let's just see what he is. Good pick. Okay, so he's ranked 31 in true talent. Interesting. He's got 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 80 catching, good short route running. I mean that's okay. He's a slot guy though, which I really don't want a slot guy, but we'll say that we'll say that was a miss. So we'll say we missed on that one. Because I do want I want Sterling, I want Golden in the slot, and I just want a second guy. I mean, I don't know if Slayton's gonna be a guy for us, even if we do just sit there and spam upgrades on him. He just really didn't do much. I mean, I even did that in our in this league, and he really didn't. He didn't really do much for us. So I don't. I don't know about that one. Um, let's go ahead and pick this left tackle here. Let's see if we can solidify the tackle positions. Oh, it says it's a good pick, but 67's kind of rough. Strengths okay. Okay. I mean, this is a very raw lineman here, but we'll say. We'll just count that as a miss, even though I, I think I'd be happy with that in the fourth round in the online league, but <clears throat> I don't know. Go ahead and pick another guy off my board. I think we'll actually get more draft points, too, in the online league, so I'll know um, we'll be looking a lot nicer. Let's, I'm going to pick this wide receiver again. I mean, this is more of the guy I want, 6'1", you know, he's a little bit taller. I don't know how tall that slot guy was, but... Okay, another good 66 in deep threats. He got mass pit mass. No, he doesn't really have that much pace. His short and medium route running is a freaking atrocious, though. I would love to hope. I would love to see in the online league when the when we start scouting players that there's some top tier wide receiver talent on the top. Like there wasn't really that many good wide receivers in this draft class. So um, I would love to see top receivers because I want to draft a, a beast wide receiver. That is what I want to do. And wide receiver, I mean, that's fun drafting wide receiver, you know, that's exciting. So I would, I would love to do that. Let's go ahead and pick a fullback. I really do think we need another fullback. I don't think our fullback's going to cut it. I mean, this is a screamer of a pick right here. I mean, dude was undrafted. And look at that. Hidden development tray. Just a freaking beast, man. He fights for extra yards, too. 87 lead block. Got some good pace. See, this is this is the pick we need right here. That's definitely a W. I would I would love to draft a fullback late in the online league. Um, the problem with, with my drafting, though, is I don't know how much I'm going to be able to say because I don't want to give away to everyone who I want to pick. Because if, what if I say someone that I really want and then there's a guy that's drafting ahead of me that really wants him too, so he's just going to pick him because he knows that he's not going to get back to him. So that's going to be a problem. Um, I don't know why I scouted this guy or started him or whatever. Let's just draft him just because. I mean, I don't really know why. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know. I must have accidentally did that, dude. Jesus. There's no way I did that on purpose. I got one more pick. Pick player. Let's just go to best available. Ooh, what's it looking like out here? Let's go. Let's draft another linebacker. Let's get Bobby Wagner's little brother right here, LaMarcus Wagner. Oh, God, dude. He's hiding in the shadow of Bobby, dude. Unfortunate. That is not what we like to see. Well, one one last thing before I wanted, before I end this video. I tried making it as quick as possible just because, you know, there's not much to really talk about. We'll go to the next week, and then we'll see um, who we have to re-sign it for the next season so we can kind of get an idea of... Um, all that so let's advance to the regular season come on get going so like I said earlier follow me on twitch Daquan underscore kush it's about exactly the same as my youtube channel except um, we gotta have uh, this uh, underscore between the spaces and then also we, um, we the online league won't start until beginning of September sometime I, like I said I don't know when this video is coming out but it should be um, starting very soon very shortly when this video drops do i have to go to the next week to see who i got uh, got to upgrade and, or one injury no do i to, um, what week do i gotta go to dude i forgot where is it here here it is okay what do we are we, are we got a dub yet oh, oh and two yikes all right so let's see we got two players ready to go it looks like jabril's gonna be one. Oh, oh my god this is gonna be a big freaking 
year here. Interesting. These are definitely two re-signs, in my opinion. I mean, Jabril's got to stay and Evans got to stay. Those are definitely got to be re-signed. Tomlinson, I would like to keep him, but I'd be convinced not to. We'll have to just see how he plays and how it's looking. Janoris shouldn't even be here. I'm going to try to move him. So let's just hope he's not here. Um, but yeah, these two are immediate re-signs. I have to get that deal done. This one's iffy. Don't know. I, I'd like to, but I don't know. We'll just have to see. Janoris shouldn't even be here. Gallman, that one I think I might let walk and maybe just bring another running back in. We don't really need to spend that much on a backup, I don't think, but we'll see. Um, I might let this tight end walk and just draft one. We'll see about that one. And then the rest are kind of just randoms. I think this guy might be a long snapper or something. I think that's why he's on the team. But other than that, I mean, we, there's not many, like, people i got to resign. There's just some big deals. I mean, this is a lot of money you're talking between these two. And then even if, if we get Tomlinson, too, that's a lot of money tied up into three players. So we'll see. Maybe Tomlinson goes off and he's a beast. Um, let me just compare those two quarterbacks just to, you know, just show you guys. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to draft a quarterback because I'm on the side of don't draft a quarterback. I'm just throwing options out there right now, okay? So everyone in the comments that's freaking out right now, I need you to calm down, okay? So, obviously, Daniel has a lot more traits, but <laughs> some of them are good. He got the scrambling quarterback style, paranoid sense of pressure, aggressive enforcing passes. Those two aren't good. Tight spiral, predictable player, and balanced penalty ten tendency. If we go to the quarterback we drafted, um, who apparently has a thing already, he has... Trigger happy sense of pressure, ideal in force passing, predictable player, bounce penalty. So pretty much the same stuff, except um, he has ideal enforcing passes instead of aggressive. His throw power is 90, so 90, 76, 77, and 81. The top's over here. 90, 76, some, so, okay, so he has a little bit more throw power. He's, I think the speed's about the same, but... I want to I want to see one more thing though I want to sim like I don't know let's go like week seven or something let's just go next week we'll sim a little bit this is the last thing we're gonna look at um, I want to sim in and see what is just I want to see what um, his development style is or whatever and my fullback too I guess because he also had one interesting no 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 come on we don't need weekly training this is the last freaking thing here how many games? He had to get 500 snaps, so I don't I don't know how much that is. We're two and three, okay. We'll check after the bye week here. Did we win that one against the Browns? Um, I didn't see. Did not see. Oh, three and three, okay, dude. Okay, that's not too bad. Dallas definitely having a turnaround this year, six and one. All right, so let's take a peek, see. Didn't mean to prolong the video a lot longer, but I wanted to check. Noah Morin. Overview. Oh my, play five. Is he not starting or something? Okay, well, we'll we'll just calm it down, I guess. It, it is what it is. Let me see what my fullback is. His is probably less if... I feel like it would be less, right? Let's see. Yeah, okay. Well, let's, let me just... Let me do one more then. Let me just... Let me just go like... Like this. Send to the playoffs. Okay, we'll go all the way through. If I can't play 500 snaps, dude, that's a freaking choke. Okay, because Dexter got it done. I don't know when I got it done with Dexter, but he got his done, I think, like week 10 or something. It felt like, I, I think at least. I don't think it was this late. I don't think Daniel's starting. I think the rookie has the job. That's probably what I should have checked, but I definitely did not check it because I'm a freaking nerd. Um, <clears throat> this will tell me right here the stats. Okay, so Daniel did start. So that's that's unfortunate. So I'm, I, have, I have no clue. But Daniel went off, dude. 29 for 9, okay. Four, over 4,000 passing yards. 9, 6, and 1, okay. We didn't make the playoffs, though. But, hey, that's a decent season. I, I would be really happy with that. Um, I'll check if he made it or not. But I, I doubt we even know what his is. I mean, maybe we know, but... Holy shit, dude. Woo! Superstar X Factor? Oh my god. See, if we could somehow draft someone like that? Oh my god, dude. That, that just that just makes me want to draft a quarterback. Because if I can get that, dude. 
Jesus. I mean, oh, this dude's on the bench and he's getting a bunch of points to upgrade himself. Superstar X Factor. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, let me see what his thing is. He has um, Bulldozer. Ball. Are you kidding me? This dude's got. What? Last ditch passes with this ability have a higher chance of quitting a pass animation while being sacked. Okay, that's a really good ability. Blitz Radar. Successful quarterbacks stay cool and stand confidently against the Blitz when they enter the zone. All blitzing linebackers and defensive backs are highlighted after the snap. Um, all I gotta do is scramble for 10 yards? I mean, that's not too hard. That's really not that hard. I mean, that is nice, dude. That is really nice. Wow. Okay, well that's kind of crazy. What's my fullback got here? He got anything? He just has star. That's still that's still good. It's better than nothing. But that's insane, dude. No way I draft a quarterback and he's just that much of a god, dude. That's crazy. Well, we'll leave that up to you guys when we get there about drafting quarterbacks or whatnot. But that is going to be the end of my test run here. The next video you guys see me upload will be the first week of the online league. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Um, thank you for all the support so far on the test league, test run here, but it's time to get serious. It's time to, you know, get ready. We got, we got to grind. It's time to make some good decisions here. Everything from here on out is the real deal. Okay. No more. Let's just do this to test. Okay. We're trying out here. We're trying to make plays, you know, we're trying to, you know, get some dubs, develop our players. So thank you for all the support throughout the series. Next video, like I said, will be the online league. So I'll see you then.